So this is, we're going to discuss a, a patient who is a G2P1 at 32 weeks and 2 days and presents with a headache and high blood pressure. So, normally in the history, we say it's a gravity 2, para 1, means she has a pregnancy. How was the pregnancy? The outcome of the previous pregnancy. What are presenting problems now? You say she has headache. What are what are the associated symptoms? Not the patient to uh, present. Any other symptoms? Nausea. Other symptoms? Visual stuff. Nausea, visual dysthymosis, right of coronal pain, massive edema, generalized massive edema, ascites. Is there jaundice? Let's look at the symptoms of severity of the disease. I think the, the investigations for like the the rest them to, to mention should take into consideration that the, the, the organs that are likely to be involved in cases of uh, severe hypertensive disease and pregnancy. That is, the, these investigations should be tied with the, the liver function liver function tests. In some of these cases, the, the kidneys are involved in severe cases, so we want to, to have an idea about the renal function. The blood, you can have uh, clotting disorders, so we want to have an idea about the, the full blood count, the platelets, the coagulation time. Sometimes the brain and the, the central nervous systems who can also be involved. Cases of the brain are might have uh, subdural hematomas in complicated cases, so the resident might like to tell us about a CT scan in severe cases, even uh, a chest x-ray <coughs> to exclude cases of uh, pulmonary edema. So like uh, a good range of investigations to, to be done. I think it's important to know that is in an environment these investigations too should be tailored to the clinical state of the patient. In a, in a stationary hospital, I think it is acceptable that most of the investigations that I've mentioned should be done. In a primary setup, I think I won't limit myself to investigation. I will, be, I will, I will talk more of a timely referral because by the time we are doing investigations, we will find out that most of the time is wasted doing investigations that might not be too necessary. For the management of the patient. And uh, in a tertiary setup, we have an advantage that this can be done concomitantly while we are doing the investigations, we are also managing the patient. So, because most of the peripheral hospitals have a tendency of waiting for the results of the investigations. Secondly, if we consider the, the gestational age of a patient, you see, this is a patient that has to be referred 32 weeks, that is severe prematurity, so there is no place for for this patient being managed in the, in, the, in the periphery. So as soon as the patient, as soon as the preterm patient yes. had a new hypertensive disorder, yes. she should be out of the primary yeah, she hospital, should be she out should of be to the tertiary place. Yes. Yeah.